way of, I'm, I'm from an allotic area, I'm in Oromo, so I am topless on the back of my girly books that were reprinted in America, and that caused more controversy because, you know, people had a problem with the nudity, so it was always something it seems. But women, women and particularly feminists, black women, feminists, gays, lesbians, these people found my work and fell in love with my work, and so I'm here to thank you so much for honoring me and to thank you for supporting me. Um, I guess I should say something about romance. I have a wonderful man who brought me tonight. And, um, Let's see your man. Where is he? Okay. Isn't he gorgeous? He's really, really fun. <laughs> and so, um, so what is it that you would like people to know the most about you? I want people to know that um, my work comes from a very serious place and it's love. It, it's not a romantic love so much as it's just a love for human thought. I believe in ideas and I like to see people challenged. I also like to see people enlightened. And I like for my work to follow in the footsteps of people like the woman I mentioned, Muriel Rukeyser, Alice Walker, Tony Morrison, Gloria Naylor, um, Mari Evans, uh, Sylvia Plath, Gloria Steinem. These are people who are extremely important to me. And my work is very similar, my message is very similar to theirs, carrying on a womanist uh, thing. There have been so many enemies, people who have tried to take me down, who passed lies about me, but I always destroy them. So, it's all good. And so, um, I, I just thank you so much for honoring me. I don't know what else to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In-depth interview with Miss Cola Booth tomorrow on my radio show Aviola on LSD Love, Sex, and Dating. Love, Sex, Dating, and Drama. It comes on 10 to 11 on Wednesdays on Shovio.com.